Hello and good evening and welcome to another scene of Unmask Orlando. Tonight, after a very eventful evening in Brannon's Manor last night, Alex tries to clear her head and she's going to be picking up um, little Ely and take her for a ride in her beautiful new corvette so this is where the scene will start with Alex pulling up in one second need to find the car <laughs> and this baby outside of Ellie's house yeah yeah right and uh she, she seems to, as she gets out, she seems to be discussing with someone inside the house, but she kind of just waves away and closes the door. And uh, she will come out really quite fast, and she'll just say, Hey, Alex. Oh. Um, hey, do you like just, it? Uh, <laughs> do I? Of course I do. And uh, she just gets in, puts a seatbelt on. Come on, come on, let's go. Great, where would you like to go? Or just cruising? Uh, I don't know. Like... Fine, just cruising it is. And she'll take off and start driving around the city. Well, a few minutes later she'll get a... Uh... Well, wait, I'm gonna tell uh, Ely about my fuck-up first. Was... I mean... I mean... Well, well it's, look, we don't know that. Emma's going to try and reach out, so I have to do it. <laughs> so give me five. So yes, um, I might have done it bad. As you will say, well, driving. Oh, the goddamn paper. <sighs> um. Or rather, I tried to do it good, and I guess I did it bad. You made a mistake. It doesn't. It, it's not called doing a bad. <sighs> you know, Ailey. Yeah, that's not what I need right now. But yes, I'm expecting that the Tremere are going to be pretty pissed at me for a while. What did you? Uh, did you insult some of them or what? was trying to find a way to locate Marcus. What did you do? Well, I told them I was going to meet a man at the casino to that could help me locate it. Apparently, he's some kind of mm, demon, I guess. Ely just blinks a couple of times, looks at you. Okay, that's that's really bad. Yeah, well, thing is, the agreement was actually okay. Like, there was nothing off with it. Right. Okay. Um. That's cool. Um. Can we talk? About about something else now? <sighs> Fine. Well, feel free to judge. Like, ugh, I, don't I, I don't... I don't know what to think about it. Well, the thing is, the result is the same. The price is probably less than what I would have paid if I had gone to the Giovanni. But apparently... Yeah, that doesn't count in this case and I feel a bit mm, played too because I wasn't aware of what exactly that guy was I knew he wasn't one of us but to be fair I didn't expect that uh, Alex will get a text from Emma saying just saying what the fuck did you do <laughs> yeah she will pull over uh call Emma back. 
Yeah, so, uh, what the fuck did you do? Um, I don't think these are things that should be discussed on the phone, darling. Okay, so, let's meet somewhere. I am with Ely. Um, where do you want to meet? Mm, there's a park just outside of the city, that way I don't have to go too far. I mean, where do you want to be? Mm -hmm. um, Shall think. I don't know. Well, if you want the park, let's do the park, but... Oh, well. Yeah, okay, let's meet at the park. All right. All right, um, I'll be there in like, um... I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, I'm assuming. Unless there's traffic. All right. Okay, see you there. See ya. Ah, uh, that was Emma. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to meet her at the park at said city. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Unless you have a better place. I can call her back. No, 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 it's, it's fine. We can go meet her. She seems nice. Okay. I still will pull out again and start driving towards the park. So people are really fearing about this. That's weird. <coughs> oh well. What? She wants to talk to you about what you did, right? Yes. to go for it to go this way but anyway let's let's be on our way I'll be for a sec the two of them will arrive Ely will just look around she'll probably spot Emma she'll she'll just get out she'll go go over uh she won't hug you or anything but she will just just wave at you she'll wave and then she sees Alex. She she does a kind of hug Alex though. It's a small hug, okay. Alex will give a hug back, cause yeah. So, so um, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, well, remember the other night at the Elysium when I told the prince and Katya that I was meeting a guy at the casino for a way to locate their sire, her sire. I uh, shall think. Was she, uh, is she, was she there? Yes. She was, yes. I guess, uh, oh yes. Yeah, I remember that. Well, yeah, I went and did find a way, and apparently that is a problem, because the guy at the casino is not what I thought he was. Yes, what exactly, because he thought that she a was fallen. odd. But a fallen? Is supposed to be something between an angel and a demon or something. Oh shh. Wait, oh sh okay. Yeah. That was okay. So yeah, they definitely don't approve of that. I wouldn't have approved if I knew the whole scope of it, but to be yeah, fair, no, they fair the, angry. The, the agreement was more than fair. I checked it multiple times. There was, what? There, there, there what, did you, what did you have to give? A major what did you? Ah. Wait, they, they, they work in boons? Well, they work with whatever they can, I suppose. Okay. They know that we work with boons, so that's what he went for. Just, and... just for reference, Ely is not really interested, so she's just walking around, just playing with stuff. Yeah, Alex is keeping an eye on her, because, you know, we don't know what 
the fuck to expect anymore in this city. Kelsey, are you the driven or pissed off? Well, they, I don't think they care about the actual agreement on what's in it. They care no. about the fact that he's not one of us. Well, that he's maybe, you know, fallen. But, but the thing is that the agreement was very fair. No hidden clauses. I even added a clause. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Look, okay. I'm. When it comes to agreement and law, I'm good at this stuff. Okay. Well, I'm just glad like, that. I'm not a complete idiot. I might be an idiot when it comes to occult shit and recognizing what a f fucking person is, apparently. But when it comes to law, I'm good at that. Okay. I, I trust you. I a clause that he was not in any way to affect or ask anything that would affect my uh, agency, let's say. Uh, as in, uh, oh, your work or us? As in, he's not allowed to mess with us. He actually asks that we don't mess with him, that we don't go and kill him. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, the agreement was fair. The fact that I didn't know who he was or what he was, that's a problem. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. should we get back to Ellie? Yes. Um, while they're discussing it, uh, someone is coming across the park. Uh, yeah. Uh, at that point, uh, if the kindreds look to their left uh, in the distance, they can see a, a reasonably tall fellow, roughly six foot, um, long blonde hair, uh, blonde beard, very casually dressed with jeans, t-shirt, and a leather satchel um, around his shoulders, uh, is walking closer. And if any are especially perceptive, they can see that his eyes are glowing, S a slight red. Uh, the first person you'll see just, you know, just climbing a tree quite well is a girl who's maybe nine, ten. Huh. And uh, um, she's just... And she just stops, looks at you, uh, winks at you for a couple of moments, looks mm -hmm. at the sides, and looks at you again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sirius has noted her. He stops uh, at a healthy distance, you know, g giving her a bit of space, and he bows towards her in she her general direction. She just waves. Greetings, fellow kindred. I don't believe we have met. Who might you be? Ah, ah, excellent, all kindred. Uh, <clears throat> uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sirius Hunt, Esquire, and he gives them a bow at your service. Hi. Huh. Wait, you can rec you can tell us from the site. It isn't the sight, but uh, my beast senses when other beasts are around. I see. Well, I'm Alexandra Diamond, and so of Clan Bruja. This here is Emma Martin. Neonate of Santa Order. And you have met Ely, also of Clan Torridor. And most dexterous, I must say. <laughs> ah, okay, so some neonates. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I myself am an Ancilla. Um, have you presented yourself to the prince? Um, it's interesting that you ask this. Um, I'm currently on my way to the city center, and I was hoping to uh, bump into some kindred who might be willing to direct me to the prince so that I may present myself. I live with him currently. Yeah, well, the 
apparently it's a weird situation. Like there's a... there's like ten of us living in this. Well, it's it's a big house, but still ten of us living in the same place. Well, in any case, the Elysium's usually held at the Hemway. Hemingway uh, bar. Mm -hmm. the Regency Hyatt Hotel, which is owned by the Prince. Yeah, uh, Sirius uh, produces out of his satchel. Uh, it's obviously a tourist map, but he's having a look and makes a, uh, makes a symbol on the map, puts it back. Thank you very much. Uh, That'll however, be most. Uh, the Prince will probably not be there at the moment. We can certainly inform him. And uh, Alex will Emma's already like, like yes. already has her like phone out texting. Yes, he will look at Emma because I don't think it would be wise for Alex to text them right now. <laughs> uh, Sirius looks at the. I take it it's a smartphone. No, it's a brick. It's two thousand. So yeah, they they aren't ah, smart. Sorry, yet. it's uh okay. So it's just one of the mm, understood. He 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 points at uh, what kind of device is that? I've seen a few people with those, but I don't recognize it. Uh, have you been living under a rock? I have recently awoken from torpor, my dear. Oh. So uh, I'm a little bit uh, out of touch. I think the term is. Mm. Those are phones. They're for telecommunications. Ely comes a bit closer to you and just sniffs the air. Um, uh, yep, yeah, there is definitely a bit of a uh, feral musk uh, to his scent. You smell like a homeless person. Eli. I beg your pardon? <sighs> she just oh, looks at you. Wait. Uh, wait, no, no, I, I take back what I said. Um, ah, it's uh, <laughs> my gangrel scent. It must be that. Oh, it's like it, it, it oh, can seem okay. a little offensive to uh, oh, other I, clans. Okay. okay, fair enough. No offense that's, was that's meant. It. it was just it smelled weird. That's fine. But I assure you, my dear, I have showered quite recently. Okay, I never shower, so that's fine. What? You should oh. take it up. It feels very pleasant. You never shower. Nah, it doesn't. Nah, oh. I, I, yeah, well, I do go to shower sometimes. Or I can warmly recommend waterfalls, since we don't suffer the cold as uh, <laughs> the kind do. I find it quite refreshing and cleansing. Hmm. I prefer a bathtub. Me too, but sometimes you have no choice when you're out in the wilds. That's why I don't find myself out in the wilds. It's oh, not for everyone. <laughs> Clan Kangaroo, that's right. You're, you're, uh, you're like the beast. Uh, oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. Okay. Yeah, you're out in the wild because you can live out. Okay, yeah, okay. Because I can, my dear. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Well, you know, and it also helps with uh, feeding grounds. Uh, if you find a niche for yourself, you're normally left alone. There are a few more gangrels in the city. Um, ah, excellent. At, at the moment, they all... Uh, they all stay at your primogen's uh, house. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be a problem for me to acquire some... Uh, of acquisition or uh, property, it's safety. Uh, yes, Orlando is experiencing a rather dire situation at the moment. Oh, you don't say. Uh, w what is plaguing this fine city? Someone on the red list is here, among other things. Oh, good lord, the red listers that always spells trouble. Ah, uh, pray tell. Oh, well, there are lupines, there are sabbat at the outskirts. Mm. 
Dear me. But Giovanni Don is a bit pissed. Uh, for what reason? You, if I may inquire. You will have to ask him that. Ah, I, I shall not inquire further. But yes, we have quite a few problems. Hmm. Might seem that this city could need another protector. Well, if you're offering, I don't think I would say no. Well, against adequate repayment. Mm, I see. I'm, I'm merely looking for the prince's approval to set up shop, have my feeding area, not bother my neighbors. And uh, in exchange, I'd surely be willing to not only protect my future domain, but maybe also help others with that. I mean, the finer details could always be hammered out later. Well, this is something that you have to discuss with the prince. But Definitely. You, but you will find that he's quite accepting. Ah, glad to hear that. So... Yes, this prince is quite upsetting because the members of a few clans have been be here otherwise. If I may ask, uh, Mr. Hunt. Yes, where, you may. Where are you hailing from? Ah, uh, I originate from England. And how did you find yourself in, in Orlando? It was definitely a long and winding road, but in the end, I fancied more of this lovely southerly weather. Uh, off, you know, after a few decades, maybe even a century, you start just getting sick of the rain. I suppose the heat and humidity is lovely. <laughs> well, you have to heat the blood less <laughs> than in colder climes. I don't have much experience of cold climates. So, how long have you been, if I may, how long have you been sleeping? Ooh. Oh, the year is 2000, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. In a little excess of 50 years. Hmm. Wow, that was quite a long slumber there. <laughs> ah, quite the hibernation, yes. But uh, not to go into too much detail, because even I like to keep a few secrets. <sighs> it, it was necessary. It was necessary. Sometimes you just need to retire from the world. Oh, I know that very well. That yes, the shared experience. Yeah, my retirement didn't last quite that long. And I've been, well, they've called me a gangrel since 1877, so it's fine. But sometimes it's nice to see that there are still some experiences one may share. Well, that might be the only experience that we share. Alas, <laughs> quite true. After all, I don't know anything about your life or unlife. I just know that you came from England, you just woke up and you were embraced in the late 1800s. Correct. So the only things I know is that you're... Well, a bit and, younger... And so of Clan Gangler. Mm -hmm. And a bit younger than me. Ah, 
but I guess not everyone is an old hag. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and he he just basically looks at his arms and his body a bit and looks back at her. Yes, the flesh might not change, but one starts feeling old inside sometimes. Oh, quite the contrary. I feel but that's why I went for a nap. Oh, my reason now, was very different, but it did work wonders for my complexions, I would say. Mm -hmm. I must say, I feel quite rejuvenated. And now I'm in the 21st century. Let's see what it holds. Well... Huh. I've only lived in the 21st century. <laughs> Good so we do. The 19th and the 20th. And now the 21st. Well, that's, yeah, true. I, I have lived in the... Well, 20th, yes. Yeah. 20th and 15th. We're only just starting that new century. Well, well. I guess I'm a young, she'll say, I'm only the live. I've only been a member of, well, a, children, a child of the night for five years now. Hmm. Well, and how are you finding it so far? It's fun. And I mean, should I say, yes, I shall look at uh, else. Should I say you my sire is? Well, maybe not yet. Okay, but again, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it, it helps having a good sire. Oh, oh most certainly. And a good mentor, priceless. <sighs> I just realized... You'll notice that Ely kind of frowns a bit as this topic is coming up. Yeah. Um, Stands there. So, so, Serious notices that, looks at her and says, have I upset you? No, I just don't know who my sire is. Oh. And is it... I wasn't really helped at all. And Are you receiving help now? Yeah. He asks with an earnest expression. Ah, glad to hear that. Not that she needs much help, honestly. She made it quite well on her own for... Yes, I did. Thank you. As all kindred should be survivors. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I just realized that while I have technically lived in three different centuries, I'm not quite 200 yet. <laughs> all good things need time. So, so, how about your sire, Mr. Hunt? That would be Asker Sigurdsson. That sounds very Nordic. Oh, he most definitely was. A descendant of Odin the All High. Oh. And he smiles at that. Hmm. Wait. Odin? Yes, Odin was a gangrel long time ago, and he set himself up as a god in the northern lands. Holy shit! She takes her, she takes her, takes her phone and she uh, takes uh, uh, Margot. Holy shit! He never told me about Odin was a fucking one of us. <laughs> yeah, well, she'll just fucking <laughs> she'll say one of us. Sirius just smiles. He's he's very amused at these young kindred. He's having a blast. <laughs> well, I must say, we have quite a few with a very prestigious lineage around this city. Oh. I think you'll find yourself quite at home. And so, hmm. this, is, this, is, this is kind of going to put an arm around uh, Emma's shoulder and kind of squeeze her a bit. <laughs> and she 
she kind of leans in and she gets her phone beeps and she looks, oh, um, the princess, he'll be at the hotel later tonight. Excellent. Um, brilliant. Uh, would it be imposing too much if somebody could give me a lift uh, in one of your Oatsmobiles? And he points well, at the car. Um, I already had a ride. You can take my spot. That's fine. Oh, I wouldn't want to inconvenience anyone. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll walk on this way. No, you know, I mean, I... Uh, he can hmm. go with Emma. I'm, I'm not too fast, and I... They have more yeah. space in the car, and I don't think it would be a good idea for me to appear around the Elysium at the moment. I shall not inquire why. You have been very helpful so far. Oh well, if if it is a little solace for you, uh, consider that you have a trivial boon from me as a thank you for your help. Oh, well, I think it's something that should be shared, as I was not the only one. I just give you information of where. Sounds only fair. Sounds only fair. Thus, I am I, a serious hunt, officially offer each of you here a trivial boon to be reclaimed whenever you wish. Well, thank you. Emma, dear, he gives them another you bow. Oh, most ah. certainly. <laughs> Not tell him. No, you can tell him. Whoever sees him first. Well, whoever sees him first, indeed. But I will just be dropping Illy wherever she needs to be dropped off. And then I'll probably just return home. Make sure that my sire doesn't murder Jason. <laughs> oh, no, not Jason. He's weird. I just smile. And useful. And he seems strong. Yes, Don't want to lose him. But he's the one who proposed that solution that got me into shit in the first place, so Okay, so yeah, go check that he doesn't die. I like him, he's nice. I like him too. But right now I can't help but be a bit angry at him. If he didn't tell you about what that guy, if he didn't tell you about it, yeah, you have to like it. Yeah, it will be a, a bit until I can trust him again, that's for sure, but I don't want him to suffer, and I know that my, my sir is very protective of me, and as a good size should, and quite a vengeful type, so. Not to mention that I know if he wants to harm him, he will. Anyway, um, I guess you'll be driving off towards the hotel. Ely, you have any place you need to be? Mm, no, I'm home, I think. Yeah, I, I just, I'll just drop me off somewhere close to home, that's fine. Mr. Hunt, good meeting you. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be seeing you around. Uh, she will uh, hug Emma and kiss her on the cheek. Uh, he, he lets her do that, and uh, he gently hugs em her back. Emma, well, Emma not you. Emma. Ah, sorry, <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> Out of character, the you. player goofed up. Yeah, <laughs> give a hand with, with Emma, they have the, the, the sort of... It's okay. Yeah. And she'll take, uh, she'll, she'll, like, uh, put her hand on Illy's shoulder and kind of tap her. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, let's go. 
Okay. See you guys. See you later. Safe travels. Always. Now she will hop into the car and drive off. Actually, no, she will kind of wait outside of the park to make sure that Emma is also driving off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm pretty sure that well, she'll go to you. So, uh... Well, probably the SMA serious. is with you. And driving you, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he remembers the old car, so he'll figure out how to get into the vehicle on the, you know, shotgun. <laughs> and she'll present the Asamite. This player is not here right now. Yeah. And this is Thomas, and this is Sears. I need someone. Uh, we're not exactly allowed to be alone with, you know, everything that's going on. So especially me, the role neonate. Understandable. And as as Ely and Alexandra drive off, um, Ely will just go. So all Kanko like essentially look like homeless people. <laughs> oh my, Ely! You have no filter. You know that. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But <sighs> like, come on, it's like, not that bad. Like, well, you look okay. I mean, it's just. It's, it's the, fine. It's just the oh, it's just has certain. Mm, Not on me. Oh, come on. No. Okay. That doesn't. Uh, here's what we'll do. So I can prove to you, indeed, the blood has a pull on you. Oh yeah. Oh. I, yeah, but. I will take you to a museum of art one of these days. No. See what it's happens. fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just drop me off. It's fine. I wasn't talking about right now, but you know what I mean. We all have. Yeah, but but isn't it isn't it something like he looks different, or is that also a thing about well, his blood? his eyes were glowing. I mean, that could happen to anyone, honestly. But I guess with gangrels, it's a bit more common. Okay, but it's like he could put on some better clothing. I mean, it's not. Well, I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Like. You're right, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Honestly, that, I don't think that's a gangrel problem. Oh. Oh, I think it comes okay. to the individual. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Well, um, thanks for the ride and everything. Um, well, I guess we still owe you one with a bike, but that will have to wait until George is a bit calmer. Yeah, it's fine. And as Ely is dropped off, I believe this scene will come to a close. Yes, thank you players for playing and watchers for watching. This was another scene of Unmask Orlando, the vampire venue. See you all next time.